Hi, it's Naomi here with your fix for Wednesday, April 11th. EA made a boo-boo. The company accidentally outed the existence of Crisis 3 via its download service, Origin. It's been just over a year since Crisis 2 was released and about six months since the original was re-released on Xbox Live. And though Crisis 3 hasn't been officially announced, it certainly looks like a sequel is on the way. We reached out to EA and the company provided us with the following statement. The best kept secret in shooters just can't be contained. Stay tuned for more information on April 16th. I don't know about you, but that sure sounds like a confirmation to me. If EA does announce anything on Monday, you can find it on IGN.com. Tomorrow, Bioware will deploy its 1.2 update for Star Wars The Old Republic. The content patch will include new Flashpoint, Operation, and Warzone content in addition to quite a bit more. If you have a level 50 character already, after 1.2, there will be even more reasons to level up your alternate characters. The legacy system will finally be activated after the patch is applied, letting you unlock all sorts of bonuses for new characters, such as new skills and new combinations of races and classes. You'll also finally be able to tweak the look of your user interface. Head to the link below for a closer look at the patch 1.2 trailer and more info on the update. In other PC news, after a long-running fan petition, Dark Souls is now headed to the platform. The new version, dubbed the Prepare to Die edition, is set to arrive on PC August 24th. It will include two new bosses in addition to everything that came with the console release. Physical copies of the game are coming to select retailers, but it will also be available digitally. Congrats to everyone who was a part of the petition. Your hard work actually paid off. Three of Japan's biggest publishers are teaming up for one 3DS game. Called Project Cross Zone, this strategy RPG will pull together some of the most popular characters Capcom, Sega, and Namco Bandai have ever created. According to Japanese gaming mag Famitsu, each company's characters will operate in pairs during battles. Capcom's pairs include the likes of Ryu and Ken from Street Fighter, X and Zero from Mega Man, and Chris and Jill from Resident Evil. But hit Sega and Namco Bandai franchises like Virtua Fighter, Tekken, and the Tales of series will also be crossing over. Apparently, each character will have moves that fans will recognize from their specific games, like Ryu and Ken Shoryuken. For a full list of the characters that have been confirmed so far, head to the link below. But remember, that list is not final. Other characters will reportedly be showing up as well. Bayonetta vs. Beautiful Joe, anyone? And that's your fix for April 11th, 2012. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online here at IGN.com.